Over the last century, we've seen a shift in causes of death from what we call infectious diseases to diseases that have a lifestyle element, heart disease and cancer. And the research that we're doing at Loughborough is all about lifestyle factors, notably exercise, diet, sleep, which can help us to be more resilient against infectious disease or less likely to develop heart disease and cancer, the two major killers in the UK at the moment. We're really interested in the whole population, so we're interested in work with children, also the middle years and also older adults as well, because it's important to think about public health right across the lifespan. We do have work in very young children looking at what we call fussy eating. And we've developed a lot of resources that can help parents. We know that less than 20% of children eat five portions of fruit and vegetables and we think from a public health perspective that it's important to try and increase that. Finding ways to help parents feed their children in a healthy and happy way. We're not saying that you can't eat a chocolate biscuit. We don't want to demonise individual foods. And there is a concept that there are no good or bad foods. There are only good or bad diets. So it's about the whole you know, package of nutrients that you're getting. So it's really important to think about what we feed our children and how active they are, because those behaviours track through later life. So what we do as a child often mirrors how we are as an adult. So we have really good evidence that exercise and physical activity can have quite a profound impact on your physical health but also your mental health as well. So for example we know it can lower your blood pressure, it can help you lose weight, it can lower your risk of stroke and cardiovascular disease but we also know that exercise is really important in terms of reducing your risk of developing depression and anxiety and also it's really important in terms of keeping your cognitive function at a high level. Nowadays, we've got very few physically active occupations. Many more of us are sitting for long periods of day, every day, every month, every year, and that means that our bodies aren't, aren't as active as they used to be. So one of the ways in which we think it's important to get people active is to think about um, physical activity as a snack. So we've been doing work called Snacktivity, and that's looking at how the public can incorporate small snacks of physical activity throughout their whole day. If you snack at exercise throughout the day, you don't need to go to very expensive gyms and do an hour's exercise all in one go. Snacks would be things like parking your car further away from your destination and walking in, getting off the bus a stop early, think about using the stairs, squats when you're boiling the kettle or when you're brushing your teeth. Research has shown what you do in old age definitely makes a difference and people who are more active live longer than people who are less active. So we have NHS clinics on site and one of the main reasons for that is that we can support the local community in helping them to maintain their health. And these clinics are particularly focused on helping people in terms of their musculoskeletal health but also in terms of their cardiovascular health. So one of the things that we're doing in terms of the research that we do at Loughborough is to make sure that it's accessible science. So it's important that the work that we do really connects and resonates with the public to make sure that it's applicable to the way in which they live their lives and their, their health. It's the enthusiasm at Loughborough and, and the, the depth and breadth of research that's going on in designing different intervention programmes for different age groups, for getting people more active. Yeah, I'm very proud of that energy, enthusiasm and drive.